So as you guys probably have already heard, because it's been covered into oblivion on like YouTube and news stations, uh, Pal World recently just got sued by Nintendo, aka Pokemon, for patent infringement. Now, just in case you guys don't understand, and I cover this in my last video, but patent infringement and copyright infringement are two different things. Patents are used for innovation and uh, inventions, ideas, while copyright uh, can be used for pretty much anything that you yourself have created. Like, for example, you write a book and you don't even have to file for a copyright uh, for you to actually own it. It's just proof of ownership. That's pretty much what it is. However, I've recently been very, very interested in this whole topic of Power World versus Pokemon. Now, all over online, there seems to be a lot of division going on, especially in Japan. And this is kind of what surprised me. But in the West here, I feel like a good majority of people are in support with Pal World. While in Japan, it's actually the polar opposite. And this is actually a very, very good video that explains it and goes into depth of how Japan actually thinks about this whole lawsuit. But in shorter words, it seems that Japan is in support with Nintendo for filing for patent infringement. Uh, you wouldn't think so, but uh, apparently it is. Now, I'm not saying everyone in Japan are in support with Nintendo because obviously that's not the case. However, it comes across as very, very cringe to me. It feels like they're basically saying, oh my God, poor Nintendo. H how dare you attack our little multi-billion dollar company? Oh, it's just, I'm just, I'm just, so sorry for Nintendo. It's like let's let's do a little prayer, okay? Let's do a little prayer for Nintendo because they're they're going through a really tough time right now. Like I don't even know what patents Power World is infringing upon, but you know what? I think they're wrong. Like I have no idea what's going on here, but you know what? What Daddy Nintendo does, I agree with, okay? For me at least, it's pretty obvious what patents Nintendo is intending to use for their lawsuit. Because if you just look at it, Nintendo didn't sue Pal World for months since it came out. But all of a sudden, they filed new patents after Pal World was released. And after they were approved, now they're all of a sudden trying to sue? Like even a blue haired liberal could piece together the information here. They had no grounds to sue. So you know what they did? They were just gonna file a bunch of patents and once those patents are approved, now they could sue Pal World for patent infringement, which again is just a very, very scummy thing to do. But for now, I think Pal World is safe because they used the mechanic before the patent was filed. However, here's the bad news though. If Pal World wanted to update the game in the future at all, they would need to challenge Pokemon's patent. And as you guys already pretty know, that's just asking for your company to go bankrupt. Nintendo is just gonna suck you dry. Okay, pop, pop, okay, pause, hold on. So even though Pal World is technically safe because they have proof of prior use of the mechanic before the patent was filed, long term, they are still losing. But this line of thought made me think of something very, very interesting. And that's if, what if Power World actually filed for the patents that Nintendo is trying to use in the lawsuit right now? Which again, I already stated, they will probably most likely are going to use. So following that logic, if Power World filed the patent before Nintendo did, technically Power World could sue them for patent infringement as well. See how very weird that is? And although Pokemon has proof that they use that mechanic uh, that was patented for 20 years, they would still need to challenge Power World's new patent. What this does, this just showcases how weird and messed up the patent system for at least game mechanics are. That's why if Pokemon actually wins this lawsuit, this is basically a statement to all the other large corporations that, hey, if you patent your game mechanics that are very, very broad, like catching an animal inside of an object, you too can create a monopoly on all the other games. So the root of the problem is not Nintendo, it's not Power World, it's none of these external factors. It's actually the very patent system. These patents should have never been approved in the first place. And I personally think there needs to be heavy restrictions when you're trying to patent game mechanics. Because game mechanics are meant to be improved on. So if other people can't improve your own mechanic, and if you're not improving your own mechanic, then there won't be any innovation. You'll be stuck in one spot for eternity. That's why I think this lawsuit is a very, very dangerous thing for the future of the whole gaming 
industry, especially on the Japanese side. And you might think, oh, just only in Japan. Everyone else around the world is not affected. Brother, you don't understand how many large IPs and games came from Japan. Japan, in terms of gaming, is ahead of everyone else in the whole entire world. They're leading the industry. They made and they own everything you could pretty much think of. Again, this whole lawsuit is a major green flag for all the other corporations that want to take advantage of this very, very great patent system to create a very large monopoly. In regards to how I think the lawsuit will play out, I believe it'll play out something like this. Power World is going to be safe for now because it's protected under prior use. And because Nintendo unfortunately owns the patents, Power World is going to pay royalties in order for them to use the game mechanic in future updates. My prediction is Nintendo is going to win overall no matter what comes out of this. Now, the very best case scenario of this is if Power World challenges the very patent itself and creates a case that the patent should be removed uh, due to how broad and unfair it is. That is the very best case scenario. And unfortunately, I don't think that's really going to happen in this case. Something very, very big would need to happen in this lawsuit to prevent other instances from happening in the future. I can't say I'm very optimistic, but at least there seems to be a large majority of people that are in support with Pal World and what they stand for. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I uh, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you later, weebs. <laughs> Oh,